So I fixed the login logout screen. Sometimes the um, button on the touch screen is a bit sensitive and if you um, accidentally double tapped, which was way too easy, it would, um, well, later on when you go to tap in, it would have already recorded your um, exit time. So I've now changed the system to not log a time that is logged within one minute of the last time. Um, and it will just tell you if you're not, you've double tapped now. Um, so that's uh, an easy fix. First holder, um, the grub screw portion over here was too deep, so you couldn't really get the grub screws out. Um, and then realized that actually we, we should be already pre-putting certain O-rings on. So we moved on to this version. Um, so this was better. The, o the, um, the grub screws actually go in there, so it's like shallower, so it's easy to get to. And then Cam said to me, well, you know, the thing is, is that what we should be doing is basically putting these lenses in the tops as they come up. So they're processed, they're already in. So I was like, right, okay, so now we don't need that holder either. So now that's been removed and I'm reprinting them again. So we've got some more progression. So now you can see that the um, these are printed and they now no longer have the lens section. It's just straight into the top. So we just saved ourselves a little bit more space. Um, just to try and make the build more clear. Uh, so I guess... I'll get hand these over to the guys now and see whether or not it's something that actually now works for them. Um, and I, if it is, I can build more of them. Um, I think I'm probably going to give, try and knock up a version of these as well for the um, recess for something like this. Because look, at the moment, this is kind of like a typical box. Um, and as neat as you stack them, as soon as you start carrying it, just about everything falls over and um, it's kind of everywhere. So um, there just needs to be a better solution for it. Okay, aside from this desk being an utter mess this morning, I don't know what the hell happened yesterday. Um, we've now got this screen here, but we need a stand for it, so I've got to work something out for that. So I've created a tablet holder, I've given some options for fixings if I want them, and also to save some plastic. Um, so I'm going to go stick this on print. Okay, so me and Patrick have been um, basically finishing path marker tops, which are, which are here. And the problem is, is, well, other than the fact that this desk is an absolute mess, is we need to move these path marker tops into this basket. And there is nowhere for this basket to go. We were talking and thought perhaps it should go up on the wall there. So we're going to make some fixings and get it up there. Here we go. We've got two screws simply in the wall just to keep it up in place. It's not perfect, um, but it, will, it works for now and it's something we can improve on. I've come up with this little tablet holder. works brilliantly, apart from the fact the charger side doesn't work in that if you have it up the other way, um, these buttons get hit and it turns it on and off. So I need to see if I can work something out for that. So here's my two second improvement. Um, basically we had a nice whiteboard and it, it was alright but we had just names across the top and it was all getting a bit scraggly. So what I've done is I've actually marked out the lines, um, measured them so we all get fairly even and then uh, yeah, put pictures of us. Now as you can see, it's very temporary so the pictures we need to be printed again once we've got ink and then these lines are matching a permanent felt down them so they can't be rubbed away and uh, yeah we've got one more spot for when uh, Jordan's here so I've got a new rack for the tubes just to make it easier for packing perspective so when you're packing this side you can just pull off the tubes that you need and also a suggestion was made about putting all the loose fill that we get from orders um, into a box. I fixed this box out of a, out of a skip this morning, um, so it's a nice free box and does, it, does the job. So uh, the picker here hangs on this and it keeps falling off so I'm going to fix it. There we go, nice new clip. See that? Just clip straight in on the handle there. Perfect. I kept couldn't find the um, scissors, so I've just basically given them a home for now, which is just basically a simple screw, just writing on. There we go, job done. So it was suggested we ordered a um, new sweets dispenser. Not only does it make it more visual, it makes it easier to actually get to, but it means we can get a little scoop in there. So the moment we're using these little tongs that, we've, that um, were 3D printed uh, by Abdul, but we're going to um, basically add, we've got a scoop on its way, so then we can just use this, the, it's a small scoop, so we can just do that straight in. Liam's 3D printing a TV remote holder and a Kanban for the um, for the for the rods and also the these threaded insert labels.